Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this circle with a diameter AB and moreover this line segment uh, DE is square root of 3. This angle E is 90 degree and this angle B is 60 degrees. And now we are going to calculate uh, this side length AC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's get started with the solution now. And before we proceed, let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Here's our very first step. Let's recall Thales theorem. And here's our Thales theorem. If A, B, and C are distinct points on a circle where the line A, C is a diameter, then the angle A, B, C, this angle is going to be 90 degrees. Now let's focus on this triangle ACB and let's apply this Thales theorem. Then our this angle ACB is going to be 90 degrees. And now let's focus on this other triangle ABD. Then according to this Thales theorem, this angle ADB is going to be 90 degrees as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle EBC. We know that this angle B is 60 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. Then this angle has got to be 30 degrees since the sum of the angles in any triangle must be 180 degrees. So therefore this angle BCE turns out to be 30 degrees and now we can see that this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 30 degrees, so therefore this angle has got to be 90 minus 30 is going to be 60 degrees. So therefore this angle ACE turns out to be 60 degrees. And here's our next step. We know this angle D and this angle E, both of them 90 degrees each. So therefore these line segments AD and this line segment CE are parallel to each other. And now we are going to draw a perpendicular AF. If F is the point somewhere here, then uh, we are going to draw this perpendicular AF such that this angle is 90 degrees and moreover this line segment is equal to this line segment. That means AF equals to DE. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And in this rectangle ADEF, this side equal to this side. If this side length DE equal to square root of 3, then this side length AF has got to be square root of 3 as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this tiny triangle AFC. And we know that this angle is 60 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. So this angle has got to be 30 degrees. So therefore our angle CAF turns out to be 30 degrees. Now we can see that this triangle AFC is a 30, 60, 90 degrees special triangle. And here's our special 30, 60, 90 degrees triangle. We can see that this angle 30 degrees is the smallest angle. So the side opposite to this angle is going to be our shortest leg. And now this angle 90 degrees is our largest angle. So the side opposite to this angle is going to be the longest leg. So therefore in such kind of triangle, if this shortest leg is one unit, then this longest leg is going to be twice as much. So that is going to be two. 
and this remaining leg is going to be always square root of 3. Therefore, this side length CF is going to be 1. This side length AC is going to be 2. And this other side length AF is going to be square root of 3. So therefore we conclude that our this side length AC turns out to be 2 units. So thus our line segment AC turns out to be 2 units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.